Hi, everyone. I'm really happy to be here with all of you, and I really look forward to learning about and following all the actions that you'll be taking inspired by this summit. And it's my privilege to introduce Gifty Pearl Abinab from Ghana, who has been working over the past nine years advocating for the rights of children and youth as a writer, as a journalist, and as a trainer. She's worked with World Pulse and Children and Youth in Broadcasting, Curious Minds. She's also founded the Greit Foundation, and she works with a network of her peers to provide training for young girls so that they can be empowered to make a difference. Gifty. Thank you, Jennifer. I am privileged and proud today to be representing my country, Ghana, and to be speaking to all of you here. Before I continue my presentation, I want to find out by hand how many of us in this room use the media every day or work with the media every day. Thank you very much. That gives us an idea about young people in the media. Today, I'm sharing my perspective, my perspective with you on young people in the media. All of us gathered here today are so passionate about issues that affect us, not only in our local communities, but also globally. In our quest to address these issues, we are using the media as never before as young people, constructively and responsibly. But what is happening? Even though every young person everywhere has the right to use the media constructively and responsibly, there are a lot of young people, especially from where I am coming from, my country, my region, millions and millions of young people do not st still do not have access to the media. Number two, even those of us who have access to the media are prone to so many things on the media that do not augur well for our development. Today, we have a lot of information that is not really good for our development as young people. Again, we have a lot of young people, for instance, who do not, who, who do not have the ability to use the media that is supposed that to be used how it's supposed to be, sorry. Like I started, we all use the media in one way or the other for our development. One case in point is the children and youth in broadcasting that I work for. Number two is One Young World, where we all use the media in one way or the other. Number three is taking, global, taking IT global that Jennifer works for, for instance. But like I said again, what is happening today, we, have a, we, we, have, we live in space where we are, not, we, do not have, we are not secured enough, we do not feel safe and secure to use the media the way we are supposed to use it constructively and responsibly in our various communities. So you may ask, so what? So, we young people aged 25 younger at the One Young World in Summit 2010, recognizing the role that the media play in our lives and development of our nation, we challenge first of all ourselves to use the media creatively, constructively, and responsibly. Number two, secondly, we charge the media to use its influence and power to help truth and personal freedom in every corner in the world in order for young people to use the media without fear, intim intimidation, or discrimination. And finally, we challenge the media not only to report on violent acts of young people, but also to report on issues that young people raise constructively and responsibly in our communities. We charge governments to make sure that every young person in every world, in every, we charge every government in every place to, to help us to use the media well. Thank you. <laughs> 